Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, so let's learn a Python program that is write a program to demonstrate working with the dictionaries in Python. So we have to write a Python program in order to demonstrate the working of a dictionary. So dictionary is nothing but a collection of a key value pair. So let's take an example. So let's take fruits. So fruits contain, for example, let's say apple. So apple contains a cost associated with it. So you can use a dictionary to store this particular type of a data structure. For example, let's take apple. The value of apple that is cost is something like 250. So then something else we'll take that is banana and uh, it costs around something like uh, 50. So this represents a type of dictionary so where you associate a key with a value. So this is particularly key and it has a value associated and enclose it within the flower bracelet so it forms a dictionary. So now in order to demonstrate the working of a dictionary so let's use a CRUD functionality. So CRUD is nothing but a create so we'll try to create a dictionary then read a dictionary that is contains of a dictionary. So then we try to update the key that is uh, update the respective value of a key and then finally we try to delete the particular key. So these are the four functionalities of a dictionary so that we'll be trying to demo that is creating the dictionary, reading the dictionary, then updating the dictionary and deleting the key of a dictionary. So let's try to get started with the programming. So let's try to create a dictionary by asking a user to enter the length of the dictionary and then the key value pair. So let's take a variable that is length and use the input function call to ask a user to enter dictionary length. Yeah, so once the user enters a dictionary length, so it will be of a string type. So let's convert the dictionary length from string to an integer. So once we are done getting the length, so now what we do is we try to take an empty dictionary. So let's take uh, the variable that is fruit and let's assign an empty dictionary to it. So this is a dictionary function. Yeah, so once we are done getting the empty dictionary and length, so now it's time to fill this particular dictionary. So let's iterate from 0 to the dictionary length and keep asking a user to enter a key and value pair. So let's use a for loop that is for underscore in range of the dictionary length. So what we do is we try to iterate from 0 to the dictionary length and keep asking a key and value pair. So let's take variable key and use the input function call and let's say enter a key. Yeah, so let it be in the string type. So once the user enters, it will be stored in string type in this particular variable. So now let's take value and uh, let's use again input function call to ask the user to enter value. Yeah, and uh, now let's try to convert this particular uh, that is uh, input from string to an integer once the user enters the value. And now we have got a temporary variables that is key and value. So let's append this particular key value pair to the fruits. So let's take fruits variable and let's take in the braces that is squared braces. So let's give key equals to value. So this is how you try to add a temporary variable that is key and value pair to a dictionary. So this is a complete code to create a dictionary and now so let's try to so this particular code that is let me comment it that is creating a dictionary now so let's try to once the dictionary is created so let's try to read a dictionary so let's say read a so generally you can also use a for loop to iterate all the items that is uh, dictionary dot items so now for the temporary purpose no, let's uh, use a print function to print a dictionary that is fruits 
so you can also use a fruits dot item and try to iterate uh, the key value pair so for the temporary purpose so i am using the generally the print function to print a dictionary so now what we do is once we are done creating then what we do is we read so then we try to update the dictionary so generally for a fruit so the particular fruit so its value that is uh, cost of the particular fruit keeps changing so let's ask a user to enter a key and its value so let's take a variable that is key and use the input function call to update a that is update a key value so let's say enter a dictionary key for update yeah so once the user enters so it will be of string type so let it be in the string type only so now what we do is we take another variable that is value and again the use the input function call to ask the user to enter a dictionary value for update this is i have copied and just a modification and now let's uh, try to convert it into an integer type yeah so once we are done getting the key value so let's update it so let's take fruits of key is equals to value so this is how you try to update and uh, yeah so this is a code for updating a key that is uh, updating a value for a given key and now so what we do is we have done showing creating then reading a dictionary then updating a that is dictionary value so now we try to delete it so let's take another variable that is key and use the input function call and uh, let's say enter a dictionary key for deletion and uh, yeah so once we are done getting the key so this particular statement is for deleting a dictionary item and uh, we use a keyword that is del and in order to delete the dictionary value so let's take fruits of key yeah so this is how you try to delete the particular item from a dictionary so once we update a dictionary so we need to keep printing the dictionary so let me copy this and paste it over here and also over here so print this is to print the dictionary so this is also to print a dictionary and let's give some statement in front of it that is a message so let's say dictionary after update is then let's give colon and here it's your dictionary and here also so let me copy this message and paste it over here dictionary after deleting a key so these are the particular functionalities of dictionary we try to demo so that is create a dictionary then read a dictionary so then update a dictionary and then deleting a dictionary item so let me execute this and let me show you how it works running the main program so enter a length of dictionary so let's give two and enter a key so let's say apple let's give 250 now again enter a key so let's say banana let's give value as 50 so you can see the dictionary contents is apple and banana the respective values also you can see and now enter a dictionary key for an update so let's give apple and a dictionary value as 300 so earlier it was 250 now we are changing it to 300 so you can see dictionary after update is uh, the value has been changed for particular key so now we try to delete a particular item so let's say banana and you can see 
the dictionary after deleting an item is only apple is remaining yeah so this is a complete python program that uh, demonstrates the working of a dictionary in python so i'll give this code in the description of this video so that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye